All right, guys, I'm back. I'm fucking back. <laughs> All right, let's start off with the beer, Chela del Playa. And this is a Playa del Carmen beer from Mexico. And it is a Kolsch style, so a German Kolsch style from Mexico. Let's crack it. Ooh, that was a crispy crack, too. Mmm. Really good. Kolsch's are easy drinking, light beers, crisp, refreshing, the whole nine yards. Um, easily enjoyable for the masses. There's no, not a whole lot of bitterness or anything like that. It's just easy drinking, crisp, refreshing, and this one is very nice. All right, we got a lot to get into today. I got a lot of growth. Um, I haven't shaved in like five, six days. So you might actually like get an idea of what I'm working with. There's a lot of growth. You can probably we kind of see my um, the grain a little bit. And you don't normally <laughs> you don't normally get to see that because normally I'm shaving every day. But on my vacation, I just slacked off. I didn't shave every day. <clears throat> All right, unreleased, some um, upcoming release from Murphy and McNeil in collaboration with um, Black Mountain Shaving and Chicano Designs. As you can see right there, Murphy and McNeil. And the name of the soap is Pisgah. And so we got the Black Mountain Shaving right there. Chicano Design with the artwork. Always does a great job. And got the uh the bear black uh black mountain shaving always has like a a bear um well i guess not always but his logo is the bear right there and they have kind of like this mosaic stained glass type looking thing which looks really cool he did a great job with this um uh label here i really like it nice colors the gold is kind of uh popping and reflective so very very nice and uh this is in the kodiak base you always know it's the Kodiak base because of those collapsed veins. It's the collapsed veins base. And uh, Bill and Murphy and McNeil is always a good sport about me nicknaming it that. But <laughs> I just think it's funny. It's the only soap I've ever seen that happen in. Anyhow, let's talk about the scent on this one. I really enjoy the scent. I did find it changed a little bit once I lathered it, but that's pretty normal. So the scent notes here, I got my little pad, are bergamot. Bigorade, don't know what that is. Cardamom incense on top. Mid notes, lavender, lang ylang, orris, peony, plum blossom, and tobacco. And then the base notes are vetiver, cedarwood, amber, patchouli, vanilla, guaiac wood, leather, and iso super E. So, sounds to me like some good stuff. I do got it whipped up in my Lancaster Razor Works bowl here. I'm actually using my Lancaster Razorworks brush from the Four Horsemen series right there. And so this one is called Death, the Horseman of the Apocalypse, the Grim Reaper, arrived on a pale green horse. And this brush is just fucking awesome. And that, of course, is the uh, Lancaster V1 Badger Knot. So... Before I start lathering up, I do got to show you this baby. If you saw my mail call, this is a custom straight razor from Rado Star. Uh, I only know of him through Instagram. So Rado Star is R A I D O and then Star S T A R. But yeah, it comes in this awesome great looking uh, coffin that's branded and has that dark and, and light wood. It opens up, he has this like cloth on top, and then inside is the razor. Beautiful display, it's very snug inside of that um, foam cutout. So let me just pull this out, I'll set that to the side and we'll give you guys a look. <clears throat> so this is moose horn scales that were stabilized and dyed. We got the red transitioning into the very dark green. And this is a 7 eighths full hollow 
can see the little uh, Rado Star uh, R there, and we'll give you a look at that. Seven eighths, full hollow with this um, kind of proprietary point on it. Very nice. I think it's very attractive. This is a beefy razor, um, at least by my standards. Seven eighths will be the largest in my collection. So very nice, and I cannot wait to use this. Um, I didn't know whether I should strop it beforehand, so I didn't. I just left it as is, and I actually uh, lined up my forehead here, and I had quite a bit, because I have this Widow's Peak, I had quite a bit right there. It was so smooth, so soft, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues whatsoever. So let's wet the face and get into this. This might go on a little bit longer because I had a lot to uh, talk about, but hopefully you guys will bear with me. So this one here, this razor, fucking beautiful. I don't hear a lot about Rado Star. I don't see a lot of Rado Star. I don't know if he's been doing this for a long time. I think he's from the Ukraine. Um, but he was easy to work with, even though I think there was just a little bit of language uh, barrier. Um, still very easy to work with. And um, we got it done. He gave me exactly what I asked for. And I think that razor is just badass. I cannot wait to get this shave going. About five, six days growth, like I said. Haven't had this much growth on a, during a shave in a long time. And we're using one of my favorite shaving brushes. Got a brand new straight razor. That's actually my first uh, full custom straight razor. Great price too. I think um, shipped all in, shipped to my house. I think it was like $225 or $235. So I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's new to this. I don't know what the deal is, but when he told me the price, I almost shit myself. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yes, please. Can we lock that in? Can I send you the money? Um, because, you know, I hear about customs going for way more than that. And, yeah, you know, I've looked through his backlog and I respect his catalog. He, uh, he's made some very nice pieces. And um, I was just kind of like, yes, absolutely yes. And um, he got it done in a very quick turnaround. I think it got to my house in about two and a half weeks. And so that's from the Ukraine to uh, Washington State in the USA. So very, very nice turnaround. Anyhow, <clears throat> the scent on this one is warm. Not super warm, not super dark, but it's warm. And then it's uh, spicy. And so very nice. You get a nice hit of that cardamom. Um, I think the incense, the incense is there as well, but very, very nice um, scent in my opinion. Masculine cologne type. And let's get right into this. <laughs> that is just fucking smooth, man. And uh, the dude's name is Roman Camlash. And uh, forgive me if there's a uh, pronunciation issues there. Um, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. And I just love how this big old seven eights can still uh, sing so much. It is kind of big. Um, I think there's gonna be um, like a learning period because like I said, this is larger than any straight razor that I've used before. So there's gonna be kind of a learning period. 
where I get used to the heft and kind of the bulk of a larger blade navigating, you know, through my beard. But honestly, it's not too big. You know what I mean? It's not a, uh, it's not a, um, like massive 10 eighths or something like that. It's, um, seven eighths, you know, it's, it's still under an inch. It's a respectable size in my opinion. I've never had much interest in a fucking meat cleaver of a blade. I've never had interest in that. I just don't see the point in it. Um, but seven eighths looks pretty good to me. I've used a uh, 15 sixteenths that was um, on loan to me from Mary and the Barbarian, and that was nice. Um, I believe it was a Joseph Elliott, if memory serves me correctly. But um, that was nice, and that was kind of wedgy. I did enjoy that razor. And then Marion actually sent me a full hollow or extra hollow. And I really enjoyed that razor. And so that kind of turned me on to getting a uh, full hollow. And at first I was thinking, you know, play it safe as your first custom, maybe get like a half hollow or quarter hollow. Um, that way you kind of know you'll enjoy it. It's more in the middle of the spectrum. And so I won't, um, I won't end up not liking it, but I, I, I ultimately decided, no, you got to go to the full, full hollow, go all the way to one side of the spectrum. Um, and just see how it is, you know. And so, that's what I did. And I really am glad that I did because I like the way that that razor felt. I like the way that it sang to me. And um, it, as far as looks go, fit and finish. He just did a fantastic job. The presentation in that wood coffin fantastic job roman camlash rado star check them out guys i think roman camlash on facebook and rado star on instagram really good stuff and he's done that uh that moose horn scale design before so i'm not the first one to do it but i did like it and i i wanted it you know so got exactly what i wanted anyhow Back to the soap. Black Mountain Shaving. The dude, um, is, for me, he hasn't missed. Every Black Mountain Shaving soap that I've tried, um, I guess, Black Mountain Scent, I should say. Black Mountain Shaving Scent that he has designed has been a fucking winner for me. This uh, Pisgah is meant to be a follow-up for Nantahala, and so that one was kind of a uh, dirty aquatic, an aquatic with a little bit different take on it, and I absolutely loved Nantahala, it was a great uh, release, and I'm not sure if that was one of his uh, first ever since, but it was a great introduction to Black Mountain Shaving, um, in my opinion. And then the dude has done Kitua, which I absolutely love. That's a banger of a scent as well. And this one here uh, is just following suit with all those other ones that he's done. He's just, and he just absolutely kills it. So, um, if you haven't checked out Black Mountain Shaving on Instagram, or if you haven't checked out any of his releases, I strongly suggest it. He actually reached out to me and um, asked me if I wanted to uh, get a set early 
Um, I'm not sure if he wanted me to review it or not. I don't think we discussed that. I think he just offered it out there, and I jumped on it because <laughs> I, I love Murphy and McNeil, and I've, I'm a big fan of the Black Mountain shaving since, so it was a no-brainer for me. And um, this is just a, another banger in his arsenal. That is just so fucking smooth. This uh, Kodiak base is absolutely elite in my opinion. It whips up into a dense creamy lather relatively easily and it just it holds its density it has good uh, longevity and it doesn't start to uh, dissipate on you or anything like that absolutely slick gives you a perfect platform for a great shave and as this shave goes on I do think I'm getting more and more uh, comfortable with the heft I do have you know my my whacker does have a bit of heft to it as well and I think my Henkel's free door does too but this is just on another level <clears throat> more heft than those and it's a bigger blade than those very nice and you know what I think this blade might have a slight smile to it now that I'm kind of <laughs> slowing down and paying more attention to it yeah, it has a slight smile to it. I didn't even notice that. I didn't necessarily uh, request a slight smile, but I'm not mad either. I uh, didn't even catch on to that. And I don't think I have another razor with a smile. And I don't think I've ever used a razor with a smile. So it's not like a huge aggressive smile or anything like that. But it is a slight smile and I'm kind of pleasantly surprised to uh, see that there because because I've never used one with a smile on it before. And uh I think it looks cool. I definitely like razors that have smiles on them. I think they look cool. But um, never used one. Never owned one until now, so. Fuck yeah. Pretty fucking cool in my opinion. Absolutely great fit and finish on this razor. Just, man, that was a fucking pleasure to use. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Looks badass. Shaves like a dream. That full hollow sings to me. And I really enjoyed that. So let's get this uh, lather off the face. And we will get into some post shave here. So, scent, warm and spicy, masculine cologne type scent. I really like it. I think you get that, uh, that cardamom and incense on top quite easily. That, uh, Tobacco and woods, amber, creating this uh, warm uh, base, and uh, it's it's a, another great fragrance in my opinion. I think um, Black Mountain Shaving has done it again, and in my opinion, really uh, solidified his um, his ability to make great fragrances. I will, 
I will be tuned in to everything he does in the future. That is for sure. And now, all that growth is gone. Wiped away. And we are looking good. <laughs> Alright. I'll have to get the rest off cam. As per usual. So let's take the matching aftershave splash. I absolutely love the uh, packaging on Murphy and McNeil's new splash bottles. Awesome. Get a look at the uh, ingredients back there. This one uh, I think is alcohol free. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But it has the uh, quality restrictor right there. Always glad to see that. No, uh, no shit strictors from Murphy and McNeil. That's for damn sure. And it has that milky color and consistency. We'll just slather a nice round of that on. We'll do some slapplications in honor of Mac Shaves. My buddy Mac Shaves. Fuck yeah. Good to be back. Good to be back. Good to be smelling good. Fuck yeah. Might as well. I got the uh, matching EDP right there in this mini 15 ounce bottle. I didn't want to go all in. I'm a puss. But um, let's just put one to the chest here. There we go. One to the chest and now... We're fucking good. Time to lounge. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I told you this one was going to be a little bit longer than usual. But I hope you appreciate, uh, <laughs> or I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys. And cheers. We'll catch you guys on the next one.